Hello everyone and welcome back to Adventures of Dragon. Now off screen I've been pretty busy. Um, I've been doing some grinding. You're, you're gonna love what I got off screen actually. Um, let's see. So if you go to skills, you'll see that I got a lot of new abilities. Oh. Yeah, I mean, that's... <laughs> dang. I pretty much got just about everything I can learn up to this point with most of the character or of all the characters. Um, I also went to their equipments and um, I got a bunch of orbs of recovery for everyone. Well, I, I didn't get any for Rosa, but whatever. Also, um, the dev told me a little bit about the um, the UI of this game. Apparently, the UI is a little messed up because of um, oops. I didn't mean for that to show up. Apparently the UI is a little messed up because of how I decide to record this. So once again, kind of what I say at the start of the game, this is not indicative of the final product. It's not even going to be indicative of how you play it if you do decide to um, to play along, perhaps. Uh, oh, right, back here. The dev also told me about um, a little secret I can get. So after Sang Fang loses your... Um, after you lose Sang Fang, you can apparently go back to his house... Uh, and th this is permanently missable, by the way. You can skip the- or you can screw yourself out of getting this. Why is my brother not with you? Rose, I don't know how to tell you this. Sang Fang is dead. No, you lie. He. He sacrificed himself to save us all. He died as a hero. No, I don't believe it. My brother wouldn't die. Now without telling me first. <laughs> Rosa, please. No, I hate you. I hate all of you. Was it quick at the very least? I see. I'm so sorry, both of you. I have failed completely. I left my I let my best friend die. I am sorry. I just can't. Let ladies um let the ladies comfort each other. I have known for you for years, and I knew Sang Fang. I know it wasn't your fault. I know it had to be done. Neither you were um. Neither of you would have let something like this happen for no reason. Thank you for the, um, that means a lot to me. I swear I'll get revenge. I'll make the person who did this pay. I know you will. Here, I want you to have this talisman. It will protect you. Use it to make that person suffer. We get an er- I didn't get- I didn't catch what the thing- that thing's name was. Earth and Holy! The power of the earth protects the wearer. Lower- Lower weakness of all negative status and- Lower weakness of all negative status ailments by 20%. Oh, I get it. So it makes me, um... Okay, so it it raises, it lowers my attack, though. That might just be because... Yeah, I might put that on you, actually. You don't have an accessory yet. So raise defense, uh, guard effect, recovery rate, damage rate, poison, blind... Oh, it actually lowers damage rate, huh? Well, just by 1%. I think that's more than worth it, honestly, though. And can it be customized? Oh my goodness, it can. Um. Okay, I might need to grind a little bit more in order to get in order to get three recovery orbs on that. <laughs> All right, let's head back to the capital. What are we doing now, actually? Okay, so we need to find someone in the capital. Watch how fast these uh, battles go by now. We're see we're doing a lot more damage than we used to. Uh oh, hold up. Nice, okay. Yeah, did you see how much that critical hit did? <laughs> My goodness. Now, I said something about a nightclub. I'm not sure exactly where that is, and it's been a while since I've gone to this city, so let's look around a little bit. Oh, here it is! Oh! 
Oh, that's cool looking. How'd you do that? <laughs> Join the fun. Can't talk to you. Can't talk to... Oh, gotta dance. Alright, fine. Huh? Is this dubstep? But wait! Water! <laughs> what is boob juice? Um... I might try those. I don't know if they get you anything or something. Water, it's free? Sounds good. Very muscular female. I'll talk to her in a second. Oh! Oh, cool. Okay, so they actually get you stuff. I can cure ailments. Alright, that's funny. Ooh, ooh. You seem really strong. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I'm the strongest dragon in the world. Really impressive. So is it until you realize that he's also the only dragon in the world? Hey. My name is Sheila, and I'm a giant slayer. I came here to relax for a bit, but do you seem quite mu- you do seem quite muscular and kind of cute, um, cute too. My type of man, I'd say. Hey, you're my boyfriend now. Uh, what? No. I wa- I wasn't asking. <laughs> she joined the party without asking. Choco gate crashed the party. <laughs> hey, what's your manners anyway? Are you jealous? Jealous? I'm outraged. He doesn't know you and you should- and you sure as hell don't know him. Are you two a couple? Oh! Oh, that's a big question. Yeah, I'm gonna say yes. I see. But who knows? Maybe he wants to get an upgrade eventually. From now on, actions you make increase your relationship with either Sheila or Jesse. Sometimes certain actions lower relationships with one while raising a relationship with another. Wow. Oh. Strong woman. Also, did that say return back home? Go back to the home base, okay. I want to do that one too. Okay, th this loud music is getting in my head. I don't like clubs in real life for the same reason. <laughs> Alright, uh, so we have a new party member. Oh, let's see what she's got. Tackle, triple strike. Oh, triple strike, sweep kick. Okay, so you're probably just like a brute force kind of character. Tackle, sweep kick, heavy armor, berserk. Ooh, that's interesting. The character can evade and damage and still counter, and can even evade and counter magic. Okay. Oh, she even starts with some uh, TP as well. Next is more likely to attack the character. Break enemy morale and lower their attack and, def and defense for five turns. Make the next basic attack deal more damage and have far higher accuracy does not concern return. That sounds good. Shrugs off attack denying, um, delaying 35% of physical damage instead of taking it over 30 Taking it over three turns off post to instant damage. Oh, I get it. That's that's interesting. Uh, powerful attack that um, that attacks three random enemies. Okay, that's my kind of skill, but he's only level fourteen right now. Mm. I'm gonna grab. Oh, I don't know what to grab here. Do that one. And then I guess I'll just raise your agility. I kind of don't want to grab that, but whatever. Okay, I can put everything on you for now. And what is your equipment like? Hand axe? Do I have better? Oh, uh, kind of. Okay, that's just straight up better right now. Um, that's two less defense. I'll grab, I'll put that on. The head. Um, okay. I'm gonna have to give you one and buy one of those for you real quick. That's better somehow. Um, 
I can't but wonder about the mask. What about it? I want to read this first. Why do you wear it? It's a tradition among my people. We only reveal our face to the person we marry. Isn't that inconvenient? Not any more or less than, than anything else. But how are they even supposed to know how you look? You're not supposed to. Inner beauty and power is one is one of is one body. Yeah. Ah, huh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> uh, you did it. Uh, what? Okay. Um. <laughs> sure, game. Not Harold's face. Yeah, that's just better. Just give you a turban for now. I'll maybe get you a, um, a better armor later if I can find it. Oh, dang. Go back in. Still can't make anything. Hmm. Alright, that'll have to do for now. I'll probably get more from monsters later on. I have to find a guy named, like, Raph or something? What was his name? I'll, I'll look around town real quick. Not books. Oh, here's the armor shop. Oh, these are way better. Buy you a chain helm. Armor. Good, good. The only thing I can't really buy right now is an accessory, but that'll have to do for now. I don't know what she's capable of, honestly. God, I still can't get in there. To be frank, I don't know if that's a glitch or not. Alright, let's head back. I don't think I can find that guy right now. Oh, the dev also told me if I go into options, um... Instant text. There we go. Okay. Now that should make it so the text scrolls kind of like in a normal RM game now. Which is good, because honestly, this like, by letter scrolling we've been having this whole game feels kind of choppy to me. <laughs> like, it feels very unnatural. Wait, what? Oh, she has a very unique ability. Whenever she deals damage to a foe, she heals herself for the amount of damage she deals. She also deals more damage the less health she has. If she overheals, she gains a shield that is equal to as much health as, as the heal past her max HP. Furthermore, if she drops below 25% or less health, she goes into a frenzy and gains massive attack and defense boost, but also becomes uncontrollable until her opponent dies. She, uh, she's healed past 25... She's healed past 25% or she dies. Okay, the, the text seems a lot smoother now. And also, with four party members, the... Huh. Life is starting to get really bad. Whoa! Okay, she's strong. The... What level is she, by the way? 14. But well, I'm underleveled? How? I, I grinded for like two hours off screen. How is that possible? You know, something tells me that we'll be going far away and won't come back for a very long time. You know what? Hold on a moment. Uh, I'll just make a separate save, as I normally do. There was like that place in the bottom right that I'm kind of curious to explore, but... Oh, you're just in time. The operation was successful and my boy's um, partially gotten his eyesight back. Maybe in a few years we'll even be able to restore it completely. Um, who are those with you? I am Sheila, and this is my new hunky boyfriend. <laughs> um, fair enough. And who's this pink pigtail girl? Name's Rosa, pleasure to meet you. Rosa. Rosa, are you one of the true evils, isn't that correct? 
Yes, but I assure you that I am not trying to stab you in the back. Besides, there were plenty of better opportunities for that already. Do you know what Master's planning, aside from the obvious destroying everything, I mean? Anything you may tell us will be of great help. No, not really, but I could try to f uh, try and find out. Then please do. Go back to your base and find out as much as you can of our, of our common enemy. As for you, Jesse, come with me. It's time I'll teach you magic. You can come with us too, Dante. We'll bring you back to, um, to your real home while we're at it. Wow, thanks. At last, but definitely not le- I don't think that's how you spell definitely. Son, I have a very special task for you. I want you to return back to your normal world. When, uh, when there, find our, uh, find out Grand Duchess Becky. Find out? She's one of the biggest leaders of humanity. When the um, with the assistance of her troops, we could prepare uh, prepare for fight uh, for fight against Master. Sheila, you'll go with my son. Can I trust you um, to keep him safe? If anyone hurts him, I'll hurt them back. Great. So that's the plan. If humans will help us, then we will be able to begin our assault against Master. The fate of the entire universe depends on our success. He who fights with the monster should look uh, should look to it that he, uh, that he himself does not become a monster. When you gaze long into the abyss, the abyss will gaze at you. Our heroes are, have uh, now separated and they are roaming new lands. Are they powerful enough to beat their foes? Can they stop Master? You can choose to follow each of the heroes during their peril. Once you're done, enter the temple or, or of time and your fate shall be judged. Wait, what? Whoa! <laughs> he has 666 six, six magic and damage, that's funny. Oh my goodness! Well, I think this confirms that he joins our party at some point. He's level 99. Oh, I was really hoping he had equipment so I could, like, take it off and... Yo, okay, Tumil, that could have been kind of cool. Maybe make it so he has, like, some really good equipment. Not broken equipment, but really good equipment that you can take off of him then equip to your party members. I think that'd be kind of cool. Due to the upcoming threat we're able to face, Jessie is about to, is absolutely, absolutely must learn how to use magic. I have to do everything in my power to ensure her success and find someone to help me, help her. You know what, I'll do this one first, because I, I actually kind of like Jessie. I think she's my favorite character so far. Here we are, uh, your journey to learn magic. Alas, this is as far as I'll take you. Also, I want to check something real quick. Um, oh, wait, never mind. What? But I could get seriously hurt. I don't even know where, what I'm supposed to do. Indeed, but don't worry, I'll communicate with a... Your Q tele... telepathily. Tumio. <laughs> Not only that, but I have arranged a guide for you. Guide? Oh! Uh -uh. <laughs> oh, hello! <laughs> I think we met at the trauma center. Clown? Not just any clown, but a battle clown. I originally asked uh, Tinkly, but, but he insi... He insists that his daughter Jill is going to be even more useful. Uh-huh. Not only am I absolute savage when it comes to combat, I also specialize in hilarious bunny jokes. Bunny jokes. It's not gonna lappin. What is it? What is invisible and smells like a carrot? Bunny fart? Seriously? I have another one. This is good. How can you catch a rabbit? Go behind a bush and pretend you're a carrot. That's all the jokes I, I have uh, come up with so far. Yeah, um... I kind of am new to this whole battle clown thing, but that's kind of uh, why my dad wants me to come too. To help me become better. I gotta learn one day. Kinda. I guess. So I'll help you learn as well then. Yeah, we'll be the best friends, um... We'll be the best friends ever. Searching how, um, how to do super cool and awesome stuff together, hand in hand, it'll be too awesome. Glad to get along so nicely. You must reach this old holy writing, and then read out loud the writing to get magical powers. Follow the light within darkness that, um... There awaits monsters. Nice. Hmm. Hold on a moment. I gotta check something real quick, but I... I just will only take a second. Alright, sorry about that. Um, let's get back to the game. What do you got? Trick shot. Auto blast. Disarming shot. And mysterious arrow. Clowning. Okay, you have skills as well. 
Armor piercing? Is that passive? Oh, okay. If your health goes below a quarter, you get ma a massive boost to agility. Okay. Any critical hits done will debuff the enemy while buffing the character. Ooh! I think that's all we can do for now. Uh, oh! What? Permanently increased damage of all future trick shots. I can see myself grinding that if that works kind of how it sounds like it works. I don't think I need any magic steel right now. You seem to have a good amount of magic. Okay. Jill begins a battle- um, Jill being a battle clown excels in battling. Jill- thanks. Jill can sometimes learn the moves her foes do when she's struck by them. Oh my goodness, she's a blue mage?! Furthermore, whenever out of combat, Jill is able to alter the very ways of combat and change the style of battle. She's a freaking blue mage! Hold on a minute. Put her up front so she gets targeted more. <laughs> that might be a bad idea. She doesn't have much health, but... Eh, yeah, whatever. Also, I like this enemy a lot. I think this is also from Exus. Whatever the person's name was. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can grind that, um... Oh, that's fun. I like that zoom effect. I think I know what plugin that is, too. I think I'm using it for Tamer Archipelago. Oh, uh, you poisoned me. Oh, we know what that means. Also, I for a clown, she's kind of slow. I gotta boost up her speed pretty quickly. Try and get this on you too. It's instant, so I don't think it worked. Uh, I have another cooldown on that. Oh, it worked. Okay. Oh, I didn't... Oh, actually, that might be good. Uh, okay. Figures are immune to that. Um... Too much damage. Let's see if this will get the get the instant kill. Oh, it's for a turn. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, that didn't work. Oh, you have something to regen on. Oh, what am I thinking? Monsters keel over when, uh, or they kind of bend over when they're at low health. I should've used that to my advantage. I'm assuming that skill has some killer cooldown on it, so I don't even bother. You know, Tumio, I, I don't know how difficult this would be to do, but if that skill works kind of how it seems like it works, and it's, like, permanent for the rest of the game, I think you should, like, have a little, um... I think there should be, like, a little, um, like, a, a, a little, like, thing in the description, like, maybe a, like, maybe a number up here that says how many times you successfully pulled it off. Because I'm going to see if I can get this right. I think we can take two more hits and then I'll start worrying about- Oop. Okay. I kinda 
like this character so far. I kind of like how gimmicky- Aw, oh, dang! I kind of like how gimmicky she is. Hmm. But, I do it. I think that guy needed to see one more up there, but whatever. Get out of here. Oh, dang, another critical. You know, I'll, I'll bank on a critical. I think I do have an item on her. Like a custom thing that makes it so critical hits land more easily. Okay, that didn't do it. I gotta get really careful with how I use that. I should have used it there. Yeah, that would have done way more than like 80 damage. Her hat. Hold on. Uh, that's worse. It's better than nothing, though, so... Oh, the turban is just better. Dang. Wow, that critical hit orb or whatever I gave her is really paying off. Oh, I did it! So did it work? Yeah, because there's no, like, um... There's no- there's nothing signifying if it worked or not. Oh. Uh, that- that's better. I prefer the attack. 98 accuracy is still good. <laughs> How much is she gonna do now? Uh, about as much as Jesse, actually. Alright, good. Maybe slightly less. Oh, ah. Actually, maybe that was a good thing. Yep, okay, this is an easy kill. I can do more than 57 damage. Nice! Okay, it does feel like that got- that's, that was a bit more powerful than a normal attack. Uh, I want to fight all the monsters I can, honestly. I'm kind of curious if Jill is a permanent party member as well. Oh. Oh, you're guarding. Oh, wow, okay. How much more powerful does that get? Because it's raising by a hundred every time. Hmm. 
This still seems like it could very easily break everything. Wow, okay. Guard this turn. Um... I wonder if I could grind this skill somehow. And basically just overpower every monster. Because it seems like this is exactly how it works. Like, it just becomes more powerful with no cap to it. Honestly, I'm not against it. it it's kind of diff- I, I kind of wish the boost was less. And I also kind of wish there was a way to tell, um... When, like, it activated, or when you got the boost at all, or what the boost number is at. But that is a really cool idea for an attack. I always find it super cool when games have, like, weapons or skills that are determined by how how much, like, X you've done in the game. I think the obvious example I can think of off the top of my head is the Chicken Knife from Final Fantasy V. I haven't played that game, but I know about that item. It It's basically a knife that becomes more powerful. Uh, oh, dang it. It's basically a knife that becomes more powerful um, the more times you have run from uh, from battles. Okay. You know, I think I'm going to leave it off here. I'll see you folks next time. Thanks for watching.